Hi, do you make medical presentations? Do you want your slides to engage your audience? Do you want your audience to understand your information with clarity and follow your suggestions? Then you must avoid the three common but big issues in creating your medical slides. In this video, I'll show you real life examples of the three issues and I'll also give you a practical solution for each of those issues. Sounds good? Then let's jump right in. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. The first big issue is unrealistic scoping of the presentation. When it comes to creating medical presentations, most presenters tend to think that more equals better. So they end up creating large, bulky, bloated slide decks. Now, for example, take a look at this presentation on BPH. See the number of slides here, 55, 70, 118, 95, you get the point. Now, the issue is not about the number of slides used in the presentation, but how dense each of those slides are. Now, to understand the issue, let us take this typical presentation, which has an outline of 12 items. Now, if you want to cover these many sections in one presentation, your slides will naturally look as dense as this and see how much information is being stuffed on each slide. Now, look at this flowchart. Do you think it's practically possible to explain such elaborate flowcharts or diagrams like this in the given time along with 118 other slides in a single presentation? If you do, your audience will obviously get overwhelmed. They don't even have to listen to your presentation. The moment they see slides like this, which have so many points in one slide, they automatically tune out. So what is the solution? The answer is stop focusing on width and start focusing on depth. Your audience has a limited capacity to process information. So follow this simple thumb rule. Focus on just three main points in a presentation. Once you choose those three points, then go deeply into each of those points. So when you finish your presentation and you ask your audience about what they learned, they should be able to recollect those three points and then your presentation would be considered a success. What's the use in covering 97 different points in your presentation and when you ask your audience, they can't even recollect one or two. The second big issue is creating document type slides. There is a significant difference in the mindset required to create a document and the mindset required to create a set of slides. First, let me show you how document type slides look. Here is an example slide deck. You can see that the presenter is still in the mode of writing a document. You can see the references here and the sources from where each of those points are taken and you can see that pretty much in every single slide. And the moment you project something like this on the screen, your audience knows that this is not a presentation but a document being read out loud. And who in the right frame of mind would want to go through a presentation slide deck that looks like this? So what is the solution? The solution is to understand the fundamental difference between a document and a slide deck. In a document, the primary focus is on facts and the views are derived from the facts. In other words, data is given the primary importance and the inferences from the data is given the secondary importance. When you want to create an engaging slide deck, you need to go exactly the opposite way. You need to first focus on your inferences and then provide data to substantiate those inferences. You provide your views first and then provide facts to substantiate the views. When you understand the difference, you will never paste a scanned image of a book like this. And you will never show a large data table like this on your slide and let your audience imagine the inferences. A simple trick that has served me well over the years in creating technical slides that engage the audience is I never show what I wouldn't explain on a slide. Now think about this. If what I want to convey is just this point here, I wouldn't show the entire table and then highlight just this point. I will only show this point and give the rest as a handout. I would never show a slide that has such a long list because I know that I would never be able to explain all the points, nor the audience would want to read everything that is there on the slide. If I want to talk about three points, then I will just have those three points and the rest goes in as a handout. So if you want to make slides instead of documents, never show anything on your slides that you wouldn't explain personally. The last big issue is unclear slide titles. 
This is one issue that I see every single time in medical presentations. Slides with cryptic titles like this, X-ray examination or IPSS or Euroflowmetry. Now, there is no way anybody can make any sense out of what you want to say from this slide based on this title. Remember what I said in point one? Your presentation is about your views first and facts next. So these views should be on your slide title right up front. Your inferences should be right up there in the slide title and the supporting data in the body content. If your audience can't make the inference or get your view just by looking at the slide title, then you've designed your slides wrong. So what is the solution? Very simple. Most presenters create their slide content first and then write their slide title as an afterthought. From today, do the opposite. First, write your slide title and only then think about slide content to substantiate the slide title. Doing just this will bring in so much clarity in your slide creation. By the way, if you are interested in making impactful medical slides, then we have a useful product called Medical Presentations Bundle, which is a bundle of more than 900 PowerPoint templates and a training program that shows you how to create meaningful and engaging medical slides and other resources that will help you make your medical presentations better. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. You can watch this video to understand what is inside the bundle. You can also take a look at some of the slides that are included as part of the bundle. And you can go through some of the video testimonials and also read through a whole bunch of testimonials from the who's who of medical fraternity. This product is used by top doctors of the world, major medical institutes, universities, research foundations. So the product is a proven one. So go ahead, click on the link in the description box below the video and check out more details about the product. In case you are interested in watching more videos on medical presentation creation, then I will provide a link here to a playlist of medical presentations from our Presentation Process YouTube channel. Go ahead, watch those videos and improve your medical slide creation process.